Hello, you're here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course. The topic for today will be how to edit dimensions. So, uh, as you add uh, more dimensions to your drawings, you'll find that AutoCAD occasionally uh, places dimensions, texts, lines, arrows uh, in uh, an appropriate location, uh, or you may need to modify the dimension text. So, this is basically what we are going to see in this uh, lesson today. So, I've created um, this simple geometry to, to show uh, this, this topic. So, I will add one dimension, a basic one, so annotate, linear dimension, and click on point, click on the point, and as you know, when uh, I'm placing the dimension, before I place the dimension, I can change the text or add text to this uh, dimension text. I can choose M text or text, for example, T for text. And uh, I'm able to uh, say, you see, inside the brackets, I can say, for example, 50, and I can place a different value than the one I get for real. Okay, this is one possibility. Uh, you know also that uh, I can use the other option, the M text, and the M text is a little different because uh, it's a little more complex. So I can change this. Or I can add, for example, in the end, uh, millimeters, or I can put uh, con uh, percentage, percentage C, which is the diameter, or I can put something here and put the, the, the same option. So I have a lot of possibilities. Okay? Um, this is uh, one of the possibilities. Um, I have. Let me change uh, one of the settings. Uh, so, okay, it was one thing uh, not correct. So, this is how to add a dimension and how to edit the text. But what can happen also is that we have a dimension, it is done, and now I want to change this, okay? Uh, for that purpose, I can do several things, but I can write down, for example, ED, and the ED, I edit the text, and I'm on the exact same place as, as before. At this, at this point, I can write something down, change the value of the text dimension, whatever, okay? I'm in, in the exact uh, same position as before. Um, I can do another thing, for example, which is uh, use the grips to make minor adjust adjustments to dimensions. So if I click on the dimension, I get these grip points. Um, and I can, for example, click and drag, okay? And the dimension will get a different value. Or I can click and drag, or I can click and drag, whatever, okay? I can use these grips to make also adjustments on the dimension. This has limits, but it is important especially to place the dimension graphically on another position uh, on the screen. I can make another thing, which is um, I can change uh, the style settings of an, of an individual dimension. Uh, to do that, the first thing I must guarantee first is to have this here, this dynamic input on, and then I can click on the dimension and if I hover over the text, I get this menu and I can do these things here. Okay, let us choose one 
move text only so now I can place the text on a different place this is important because um, if you try to, to do this uh, without these uh, uh, steps you you know that uh, you you are not able to move things apart from uh, the group of uh, components of the dimension okay uh, I can do another thing which is uh, to make an addition of the dimension and uh, other objects together so I can for example choose everything and now if I grab everything okay I move everything so everything moves in the same place um, but we can do this a little different uh, and this is basically this is very helpful uh, because um, you can use you can edit the dimensions directly using the grips however uh, the key features of the dimensions in AutoCAD is uh, they have the ability to adjust themselves automatically to change in drawings okay so and, and this this is because um, dimensions can be associated or not to geometry so in this particular case if I move my geometry you see the dimension is associated to the geometry so it is quite convenient if I change one thing this will adapt okay um, but I can have this in the two opposite directions the first one is I can deassociate the dimension from the geometry so if I uh, call this uh, command um, sorry the uh, let me spell down so dim disassociate okay here, here it is and now I, I can choose the dimension and do the enter okay and if I uh, change the object now okay you see that the, 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 the dimension does not follow the geometry okay but I can make uh, a reassociation and uh, I can reassociate if I call this um, dim reassociate okay or this reassociate is this option here in the dimensions group of commands so I can uh, select the objects uh, sorry the dimension enter and the first extension point is this one and the second will be this one okay so what happens now is again if I change my geometry the dimension will follow okay everything is reassociated okay um, the last topic still regarding this addition of the dimensions uh, is the possibility because uh, you know that uh, we mentioned this previously uh, the creation of a dimension style and when you create a dimension this style will uh, have a lot of settings and every time you create a dimension all those settings are taken in, in account but for some particular reason uh, I want to create one dimension one or two dimensions um, that should not have the global settings of my dimension style so I, I can do I can do this in several ways but um, the easiest one is to call the dimension style manager and uh, looking on the current uh, dimension style I can override one setting it doesn't matter what so let us make this one and say set current and now if I make one dimension okay you see that I don't have this part of the dimension line which was 
the thing I've asked to be override on the current dimension style. Okay, let me go again and I can go there and set current. Okay, continue. And that uh, temporary dimension style was um, deleted or at least it was eliminated from the list. Okay, you see that is doing again the normal uh, current dimension style. So, um, there are other possibilities to edit the dimensions, but I think we cover a lot of topics uh, in different possibilities um, so that you can take this um, edition uh, with a lot of uh, flexibility among your work and uh, that allow you to change these in a lot of different directions. Again, as I used to say, any questions, any help, use the normal channels we have at your disposal.